Hey guys, Kim Off The Grid here, and we are back at Franklin Barbershop for another episode of Deep Cuts. Hogan, what the heck are you dragging us into today? Today we're gonna play an awesome game with Jordan Baper, who's a super hooligan motorcycle racer. Wow. Jordan, what are we playing? We're gonna be playing Freak Style Circuit 2002 on PS2. And uh, don't you guys drink beer on this channel? Oh yeah. Allegedly. I totally forgot about that. Typical me. <laughs> uh, today we're drinking Blonde Fidel by Peace Street Brewery. It's a Belgian style Blonde Ale. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and enjoy this episode of Gaming Off The Grid. Hudson from Ghostbusters, and you're watching Gaming Off The Grid. All right, let's start off talking about you, your professional career. Very intrigued because I know nothing about this. I don't think Robert does, and Hogan, I don't know what you know about that realm. So this is going to be very educational for us. Right on. So uh, I travel the country following the Super Hooligan. It's a race series for motorcycles that started off life being street legal. Okay. Oh, nice. And, uh, you gotta leave the frame stock and pretty much other night and do whatever you want. And uh, we modify those up and uh, go race them on all kinds of different cool venues across the country. And to the layperson who doesn't know much about this, so like I would put myself in this category, high points of your career. I know I've heard your name involved with the X Games, right? Yes, so That's um, huge. so like yeah, what what are some things you've done that you're proud of that you think the casual viewer would be like, oh, I've heard of that. Right on. Uh, well, 2017, I got uh, third place at the X Games. Wow. That's awesome. That's that was incredible. pretty amazing. Just last weekend, I beat Travis Pastrana in a race. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally a career. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. So, uh, as you were explaining to us a little bit before we got into uh, this episode here, it's it's flat track. It's more about speed and drifting as opposed to like tricks. jumping and tricks. Where I think a lot of people who think right. dirt bikes at the X Games probably think about like tail grabs, supermans, exactly. whip a dips, whatever the hell yeah. else that other shit's yeah. called, right? So, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah, flat track's more like uh, stock car or sprint car races where we got uh, just a big smooth track, high banks, and yeah. see, see how fast you can go and instead of jumping, you're pitching the bike sideways, going in the corner, scrubbing off speed and drifting around the turns. Have you ever been in a really crazy wreck? Two years ago in Springfield, a guy crashed in front of me on the first corner when everyone's bunched up and I had nowhere to go. Launched off of his bike, like eight foot in the air, straight nose down off the track on the concrete. Broke the fall with my face yeah. and cracked a brand new helmet. Wow. <laughs> That's brutal. You guys want to jump in and play this a little head to head? Absolutely. Yeah. This is the only dirt biking thing that I might be able to beat you at, so I'm going to take advantage of it right now. So. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So there are some real personalities from the industry in those games. Yeah, and I didn't know us. that. We we thought they were just made up characters, but when we brought it here, he was like, oh, dude, those are like professional, I don't know what to call them, bikers or? So, Hogan, what side of the screen are you on? I'm on the right. You're on the right. So we got Hogan on the right, and then we got Legion of Doom on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Better known as Jordan. One thing that I'm gonna say right away is Ooh. I wish there were more maps available. We put in a cheat code to unlock everything, and there's only two maps. Yeah, for this game mode anyway. Which yeah. is kind of, Frustrating, but I mean this map. I like this map a lot. So Dude, it's so crazy when you crash, your guy just somersaults and flies in the air. I'm getting thrown around like a ragdoll. Ragdoll, living in the city. <laughs> what? Hey, oh, is that I don't song? think that that's how that song goes. I don't goes. think it has anything to do with living in a city. So oh, yeah. do you think you could go out and do these tricks right now? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Undeniably. Wow. No, you, not uh, even close. You. Man. So doubled his score. Winner stays on the stick. Uh, yeah, who won? Who won? Uh, he, of course he won. But I need to go back and watch Castaway because I'm pretty sure he's shirtless. Oh, he is. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> What's your favorite type of movie? Anything with Tom Hanks shirts? shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people I mean, are plot at that point interchangeable. People yeah. really like uh, Magic Mike, but I really oh, like oh. Castaway. So, <laughs> yeah. so it turns out if you just hold down D while you smash some trigger buttons, it'll do up to three different tricks in a row. Yeah, that's been my secret the entire time. And now you oh, told but everyone. I just figured out. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna freaking lose every match. We gotta <laughs> Robert's level the, the playing uh, field here. He is the king of hoarding information. Like 
you know, asking like, hey, how'd you do it? I don't know. Yeah, it was just butt mash. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. It's like, well, you've done it three times in a row now. I think you do know. <laughs> I think you figured it out. <laughs> 100,000 points. Holy smoke. <laughs> he almost doubled my score. And I thought I was doing good. Like, I was hoping, like, wow, that I could feel good about myself and be able to come out of this and be like, yeah, I beat a guy who's been in the X Games. I don't think that's gonna happen. Whoa, well, look at. Oh my. How do you oh. do that trick in real life? Uh, There's no way. This isn't looking too promising. Think, oh no. I think, I think Jordan Fox needs to find a new out. career path. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah! <laughs> I think that's me. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> he was saying yeah to losing. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Uh, no big deal. Somebody's putting the X Games. <laughs> now, now they're on that on the bucket list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's going for the death. Ball's deep. Boom! <laughs> Whoa, he just did the same trick at the same oh, time. Oh, I didn't land mine. Yeah. Speaking of landmines, you just blew up. I think we are witnessing before our very eyes Hogan coming to the era of the dual joystick. Yeah, back oh. in time. He, this might be one of the first games he's uh, played that wasn't like, that's beyond the 16-bit era. And he's good at it. He's starting to figure it out. perfected jump. Like his big concern before we filmed was like, do I have to use the joysticks? <laughs> that's he, was I, like, <laughs> he didn't want to use them. No, I love the directional pad. Yeah, but think about what tricks you could do. <laughs> right oh. into the wall. Uh, what the heck? Freak out, 6.5. Yeah, what's going Dude, on what's there? going on on your screen? Dude. Why are you? Dude, your guy is just he awesome. He burritos. She ate burritos. Awesome. Dude, I've never Dude, what, what is he heck? doing? What? Yeah. He's like putting in codes and shit. This is. <laughs> dude, he was. Oh, were you on the internet? Dude, look how high. Dude, you just Whoa. met your maker. Holy cow, he's like, like on the How table. is that dude, happening? In the fire! In the no. fire! It's not, he just wants to see me. Dude, you're in the uh, tree. Uh, is that a tree house? Freak out? I can't read it. It says freak out. Tsunami? Dude, you're crushing it right now. Oh, shit. Now, I'm guessing if you if you uh, crash, you'll burn. I think I might, <laughs> like, run out of time or something. You still got a full minute. Keep it going. Keep playing the tricks. Oh! oh! Wow! Yes. Holy <laughs> smoke. 50. Yes. I think we need to do a rematch. That was awesome. <laughs> that was pretty incredible. I didn't think I was gonna ever get past fifteen thousand. All right, let's do a uh, some racing actually, because there's other game modes. Obviously, that head-to-head -head stuff's fun, but let's do a little head-to-head -head racing. All right, good luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice You're knowing gonna, you. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, okay. you can go either way. Huh? Oh, you guys too scared to do tricks now, or what? No. Yeah, big air, that counts, right? Yeah, landed bonus, it gave me more turbo. To understand the word bonus, you gotta break it down to its root word. Bone. Bone. Us. <laughs> Dude, get out of here. Hey, hey, whoa. <laughs> get out of is here. This, is, this what you deal, uh -oh. is this how you deal on a normal basis? Yeah, bumping bars, you know, rubbing <laughs> elbows. Bumping bars. Well, you know what I always say? Words to live by are rubbing is racing. Damn right! <laughs> yeah, he knows. He, he's been there. I say that every fact. single day. The hills are alive with the sound of dirt bikes. Yes. <laughs> Wrong way. Yeah, how did going, I get? How did I get turned backwards? How did I get turned around? That finish line was pretty tight. I'm so confused right now. You guys are face plan. Struggling. It's a little harder than it looks, all right? <laughs> yeah, all right. He does it for a living, so don't get on my <laughs> word. Jordan, on a scale of 1 to 10, just shoot me straight. How good is my impersonation of a dirt bike? <laughs> ding, 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 Solid, solid 4, probably. Out of 5? <laughs> out of 5? Out of 5? Out of 10. Oh. It's more like... Can you do that again? Dude, I think I think your dirt bike West needed an oil change. Well, it's kind of like well, that's the other thing you got to qualify it. So that's like before it had an oil change. That's like what my Honda Express sounds like. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. West it, has a two-stroke, and I was ripping the four-stroke over. Here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, you made it! I made it, baby! Wow. And I got the bonus zone, but I'm. Oh, what the heck? That's bullshit. What the the door, the that the door way. closed. Oh, oh my god! It's like no, you will not. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like me going up to this chick at the bar. Fucking door closed. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually because you lead with, hey baby, 
You wanna wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> you give away my secrets. Don't tell the whole world. Are you done? No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. All right, does anyone else want to get their ass crushed? Let's jump in to talk about the beer. Blonde Fatal, Knoxville, Iowa. What'd you guys think of Blonde Fatal? This is actually the first time I've ever had it. Wow. So I know it's high alcohol content and that's fine by me. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, beer, uh, what do you think of it? Have you had any of their beers before? I've had a bunch of Peach Street before. Yeah. They're, they're one of my favorite breweries, to be honest with you. Nice. And uh, yeah, this is actually even one of my favorite of the Peach Street. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, this is, I feel like this is one of their staples and one of their like, home run beers and it's so good but you gotta be careful because it's an easy drinker I feel like but yeah. it will knock you on your ass yeah so it is it, I think it's, it's very strong north of eight uh, percent if you're into like Hefeweizens this has that um, I don't know what you would say like a banana yeasty component yeah, that um, Belgian that, that odd yeah. flavor that Hefeweizens have is present here which I personally it's one of my favorite kinds of beers so I love this I do think this is the beer that kind of put them on the map. Um, I would say this is kind of their staple beer. The, it's hard to do it better than they did it with this beer. Yeah. So if you're in the area, this would be on the short list of best beers our state, which is Iowa, has to offer. Um, you know, depending on what style you're into, you could argue points for other other ones, but this has definitely got to be in the conversation for sure. So well done, Peace Street. Uh, you guys obviously know already, but you killed it with this one. It's a fantastic brew. Uh, I feel like we were talking before uh, Jordan got here about vanilla ice. And yes. I feel like you had a, a question for it. Yes, I have a, I, that's a good, great thing to bring up. Uh -oh. Do you think you could beat Vanilla Ice in a race? <laughs> in van vanilla Ice? Yeah. I thought he was a rapper, not a racer. He used to race dirt bikes. Mind yeah. blown. Yeah. Well, this is So you gotta call, call it right now. Oh. <laughs> Let's Look have a one-on-one -on -one race right now. <laughs> vanilla Ice, Jordan, Vanilla one -on -one. Ice, can't stand a chance. Knoxville, Iowa. <laughs> Jordan Baber, <laughs> yeah. Vanilla Ice. Coming at you 2019, maybe 2020. You know, Ice might have to get his chops built back up so he can be uh, <laughs> to your caliber. But I think my boy, I'm gonna just go right now. Ice for life. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, thanks again for joining Jordan. You are a professional hooligan, literally. You showed that here because you're just a hooligan in general. And we had a lot of fun having you on the channel. In the description below, we will put links to all your social medias and some videos, things like that, so you guys can check out Jordan doing his thing and his element. And uh, Vanilla Jordan's coming for you, so be ready for it in 2019 or 2020. Stay tuned. And as always, we appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking, and we'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. We are back for another episode of Deep Coats of the Barbershop. Deep Coats. Yeah, deep coats. Deep pockets. Goose yeah, down deep coats. coats. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, how should I address you? As Mister? Like, no. Yeah. This is <laughs> Mister! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Hogan, what the hell have you got us into today? Today we're going to play some awesome games with Jordan Baber. He's uh, fucked me in the face. <laughs>